G'day folks, it is a magnificent late summer's morning and I'm currently standing on the Marshalls Ridge boat ramp at Lake Buffalo about to try and catch some redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right, now I hadn't planned this trip. I've come up here, I'm going up the valley trout fishing but it's a cool morning, it's quite cool and I just think I want to wait for it to get a little bit warmer before I get in the water and wade upstream chasing trout. Not because I'm scared of getting my feet wet or getting cold, but I just think that as the day warms up, the insect activity will increase and then the trout will become more active. I reckon another hour or so until we uh, just get a bit more warmth in the sun to get the butterflies, the bugs, the grasshoppers, the crickets and everything moving before I go trout fishing. So I'm just going to walk along the bank here for an hour or so, flicking this little strike tiger leech in white bait pearl to see if I can catch a redfin. The jig head's an oversized jig head, it's too big for this little plastic, it looks a little bit funny there, but I deliberately went big so that I've got a little bit of casting distance. These leeches are best work with the smaller jig heads, particularly when you're chasing trout, although a smaller jig head wouldn't have allowed me to cast out as far as I just did. Got him. Right on the actual boat ramp. <laughs> He's only very small, which is sort of all I'm expecting to catch doing this. He's very small, small. I am sort of expecting to catch a little bit bigger than that. But there we go, folks. I'm on the board. On the board with a little lake buffalo redfin caught on the boat ramp. Got him. Now I was just sort of bouncing that round close to the bottom then. And out he came. A bit bigger than the last one. Another little red fin that fell to the white bait pearl striped tiger leech. I don't know whether that underwater footage worked. The moment the fish hit the water, it went TONG! <laughs> it's hard to get good underwater release footage because I haven't got my gum boots on, or thongs or something. I've got my, uh, my hiking boots on, so I don't want to step in the water. So it's a bit shallow. Got him. Yes. Feels like it might be a little bit bigger this one perhaps. This is just the way he's fighting. No, he's definitely a bit bigger. Probably about as big as I'd expect to catch doing this. Geez, he's nearly big enough to oh I could nearly I could skin him whole. He would be a good fish to keep. I could definitely keep that fish. I'm not gonna worry about it, but I could. I would like to get some underwater release footage, but I don't want to get my feet wet. Not a bad redfin, that one. Not a bad fish at all. I don't think I'm going to be able to get I'll just get some footage from here. See you later, mate.
Why's he so slow? He was only lip hooked. I think he must think he's still hooked or something. <laughs> Mate, are you drunk? I can still see it. Oh, there he goes. He's just realised he's free. He just paddled out there really, really slowly, feeling sorry for himself. He must have thought he was still hooked. Then all of a sudden he went and took off. <laughs> Got it, oh, had a touch right there in front of me, he's got it again, he's still got it, he's still got it. He's hitting it, he's all small. I can still see him. I can see two. Got him. Yep, got him. As it was sinking, I was sort of, this one feels like a half decent fish as well, actually. Maybe not as nice as the last one I just threw back, but he's bigger than the first couple that I caught, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly as I described it. <laughs> he is nearly as big as that last one I caught, you know. No, he's not quite as big. I really want to get a bit of underwater release footage, but it's, uh, I don't want to get my feet wet. <laughs> I set the GoPro in the water and then released the fish about a foot away from it. I hope that worked a bit better than the last one. <laughs> there was a red fin hitting that. He's on it, he's touching it, he wants it. <laughs> a real little one chasing it in, pecking at its tail. Well, this is the last cast. I'll aim over there at that number five boy and I've just missed it. Number five manning, five knots. Can I catch a fish on the last cast? I actually can. Can you believe it? Oh, it's tiny. It's a tiny fish. But I have caught a fish. The plan was I'll cast it out. And then I'll sort of film my closing scene as I reel it in. Look at the size of the thing. I think I've caught five. Two were nice sized fish that I could, get a, a, uh, that I could easily either skin or fill it. And three of them were tiny. Little redfin. See you later, mate. Folks, what a glorious morning up here at Lake Buffalo, and what an unexpectedly unexpected <laughs> I can't even say it. I've had some unexpected fishing success on my way to my trout fishing adventure. An unplanned redfin fishing trip. I'm going to archive this video and share it in the depths of winter as a part of my From the Vault series so that we've got something like this to, uh, to watch during the time of year that we can't get out and do this sort of stuff. Folks, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, want to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.